I'm Virginia Coletta, PhD student at the Geodesy and Geomatics Division at the Sapienza University of Rome and an associate researcher of CNR Institute at, uh, of Atmospheric Science and Climate of Rome. In my PhD project, I'm studying the impact of extreme meteorological events on cultural heritage correlating geomatics, hydrogeology, meteorology and marine hydraulics. For this reason, the project is carried out in collaboration with CNR Institute of Atmospheric Science and the Climate of Rome and Bologna, CNR Institute for Geohydrological Protection of Turin, and the Division of Hydraulic Construction of the Sapienza University of Rome. Cultural heritage is a patrimony subject to different types of hazards that jeopardize its conservation and maintenance. Among these, the hydrogeological danger in recent years has increased to, due to the increase in the frequency and the intensity of precipitation events, generating a significant uh, amplification of the potential impact on the built heritage and the landscape. In fact, the critical issues related to geohydrological instability can produce structural, structural damage of different nature to the built heritage, causing subsidence, cracks, pavement breaks, breakage, erosion of foundation. In order to preserve the heritage from the risk to which it is subject, it is necessary to have a complete knowledge in all aspects of the sites to be protected, possible only through, uh, through an interdisciplinary study. The combined use of geomatics technology, meteorological and climatic models and the hydrogeological knowledge of the sites under study offers the possibility to identify the most uh, suitable methodologies for the conservation of cultural heritage and the evaluation and subsequent defense of the risk to which it is subject. In this work, I present a case study of Pirgi, an Etruscan port still under excavation, located in Santa Severa, in Lazio region, Italy, a few meters from the coastline. The responsible for excavation of this site is Professor Laura Michetti of the Department of Science of Antiquity uh, of the Sapienza University of Rome. By monitoring the site through satellite image, images of Copernicus Sentinel-2 of European Space Agency, it was found that the area is generally fluided for seven months a year, from November to May. This is not only makes the area inaccessible and delays the, the excavation, but also causes damage to the existing ruins. Analyzing the meteorological and marine data, it was found that the main cause of the fluiding of the site is the sea. In our study, through drone images have been reconstructed the model of digital elevation of the ground to highlight any protection and derive areas at lower elevation that may be areas of water accumulation. The drone images were provided by to us by Professor Yayo, belonging to the Department of Antiquity Science of the Sapienza University of Rome. From the images, it is resulted that the beach has a high slope. This may indicate that the coast is in erosion. And part of the site is missing protection from maritime phenomena. Moreover, a digital mo model of bathymetry has been reconstructed in front of the site, which, the, uh, which is fundamental to define the generation and the evolution of the waves. Once the calculation domain of the area of interest was defini defined, the calculation mesh was generated. The numerical approach computational fluid dynamics was based on the technique of finished volumes based based on Reynolds average Navier Stokes approach with K epsilon model to simulate turbulence, two phase and no stationary. Tidal and field forcing condition were evaluated on the basis of the data acquired both from synoptic scale data. 
and from experimental acquisition database insights near the PLG areas, like anemometer and web, boy, uh, and web boys. A simulation campaign was conducted for dif the different tidal condition and the wave hikes uh, and, and the critical flooding condition were investigated while assessing the water invasion in the different areas of PLG sites. Future application of this approach consists in the assessment of the effect of flooding analysis and design of site protection solution and the evolution of coastal erosion phenomena. Thank you, Faria, for your attention.